So I'm at the T3 conference in Chicago and we're taking a look at uh, TI Inspire 3.2 and uh, some folks from T Texas Instruments are going to be showing off some of the features. All right, so we um, 3.2 will be coming out this spring and one of the things I think we're most excited about is being able to bring Conic functionality into TI Inspire. So we can do some quick easy things. Um, if we go into our menu and we can choose the type, we now have a place under equations where we can choose different formulas for parabolas, circles, ellipses, conics, just kind of a nice way of uh, allowing students to easily enter in the format that they would be used to um, in terms of graphing. So if we add a, let's see, go into a line and do something real real simple. Let's just do x equals. So one thing we've heard a lot of is just wanting to graph a simple vertical line. So being able to put in x equals 2 and immediately see see that result. So it's a quick way of getting getting the functionality into into TI Inspire. Um, but maybe we should try something a little bit more complex. So let's look at adding a circle onto TI Inspire. And again, we're just going to choose the formula, and it puts it in the format for the student to enter to make it just very straightforward. So they're focused on what are they trying to graph rather than what was the right format to, to look at. Um, so really just helping them out as they're going through this. And now we, now we have our circle. Now you're demonstrating this on the computer, but everything that you're showing us here will be available on, on the handheld when the new operating system is released. Correct. So the new operating system 3.2, the version, will apply to the handhelds, will apply to our computer software. So all the same functionality will apply to whether it's the TI Inspire touchpad or the TI Inspire CX. And as you can see, just with our normal graphs where you're able to grab and manipulate what's going on, I can do the exact same thing with, with the circle with conics. Um, so it makes it just a very interactive place for the student to explore um, these, types of, these types of equations. Right. Now another thing we can look at is overlaying the conics on top of an image. So if we go to our next page here, we can see, you know, we have a beautiful image of a bicycle and being able to look at the geometry that exists there. So being able to graph the circles as it relates to the bicycle and, and use it as a kind of a very visual place for the students to explore the mathematics. Now one thing with 3.2 is we haven't forgotten our science teachers so we made sure we have some new science functionality as well. So I'm going to go to a new notes page And we've added some uh, functionality to add a chemistry box, a chem box, to, to notes and to our, our questions. So we can add a chem box. And what this allows a student or teacher to do is really intuitively enter uh, chemical notation. So as I am typing, um, you can see it automatically knows that if I have a number, Af after a, a certain element, it should be a subscript because I'm writing a chemical formula. So the student doesn't need to spend as much time kind of formatting their chemistry. They can just immediately start using it. Um, and this happens to be my favorite molecule, so it's, it's the one I typically, typically gravitate towards. All right, so this is just a couple of things that we have around 3.2 that's specific to what the student's going to be able to do on their handheld. And again, you can upgrade. Um, this is a free upgrade and applies both to the TI Inspire CX as well as the uh, TI Inspire touchpad. So today we're looking at the TI Inspire version 3.2 and we're going to look at one of the new features of this version and it is being the ability to do inverse graphing. So we're going to add a graphs window and let's uh, graph two times sine of x and if we go and get our text tool 
and enter. We can type x equals 2 times sine of y. And we take this text, and if we drag it onto the, the axis system, we see that our uh, inverse function is graphed. So if you want to look at uh, the line of y equals x, we can see there that the reflection of uh, 2 times sine of x is reflected over um, x, y equals x, and we get the x equals 2 times sine of y. Now one of the nice things about this feature also is the ability when we go into the trace feature, we can trace along one of the uh, one of the graphs, and then if we hit the up and down arrow, we move between graphs. So we'll move from uh, sine two times sine of x to uh, two times sine of y, and you can see that the point that we're tracing on is uh, our inverses of each other, that where the x is equal to the y of the other. We also have the ability to look at the intersections. So let's go and pull up our analysis tools and look at the intersection. And we identify the first graph, the second graph, and then we give it a, an area that we want to look in on and I'll look at on this intersection down, down here. And you see that the intersection pops up right there between the two. And that's a quick look at some of the features that, one of the features that we have on uh, TI Inspire 3.2 in terms of doing functions and their inverse and some of the analysis tools we have for it.